Since at least the 3rd century, the Blessed Mother has been associated with roses. That has been figured in a number of her apparitions, like Our Lady of Bethania, Our Lady of Lipa, Mary Mediatrix of All Grace, Our Lady of Lasselet, including those of Montieri in Italy. In the spring of 1947, Perena Gelli was working as a nurse in the Monticieri Hospital. One morning, while she was alone in the ward, a beautiful woman suddenly appeared before her. As Gelli reported, the woman dressed in a violet dress with a white veil was very sad, and her eyes were filled with tears which fell to the floor. Her breast was pierced by three big swords. The woman spoke only this, prayer, penitence, expiation. After a few moments of silence, she vanished. On the morning of June 13, the woman returned. This time she was dressed in white and carried three roses. When Gelly asked her the name, the woman said, I am the mother of Jesus and the mother of all of you. Then she indicated that the 30th of each month should be celebrated in honor of the Rosa Mystica. Our Lady then explained that the three swords shown piercing her heart had been first a priest or monk's loss of vocation, second, the sin of avowed religious, and third, the treason of Judas, that is, the enmity of those priests and monks who leave the church. Then she told of the three roses, white for the spirit of prayer, red for the spirit of expiation and sacrifice, and gold for the spirit of penitence. Mary appeared to Gelli again on October 22, declaring that she had placed herself between her son and humankind as Mediatrix. Unlike the first three apparitions, the fourth, witnessed by a few other people, took place in Gelli's parish church on November 16. Mary warned of a coming punishment because people had turned away from God, but she also said that she would pour forth the grace of which she is custodian during an hour of grace, noon on December 8. News of the apparitions had spread, and families began bringing their ill sons and daughters to the church, a boy with polio, a woman with severe tuberculosis and a girl with mental disabilities were all cured. These healings caught the attention of the bishop, who ordered Gelly to stop the visit and retreat to a convent in Brescia. She complied, but years later, in February 1966, Our Lady appeared to Gelly again in her room. Helena Gelli saw Mary again in Fontanelle, her hometown, on April 17, 1966, where Our Lady bestowed healing powers upon a well. When people heard about the well, they flocked to taste of its curative waters. The church gave an official approval to Gelli to continue to receive the Blessed Mother who was to give two miraculous demonstrations of her presence. The first occurred on April 20, 1969, in front of hundreds of people gathered outside the parish church in Fontanelle. Mary caused a spectacular dance of the sun and stars. A similar miracle occurred on December 8, 1969. The apparitions to Gelli occurred intermittently at least 
through 1976, and Mary's messages were consistent. Humankind, and particularly the religious, must repent for sins against faith and morals, and if they do, she will bless them superabundantly.